Hi, hello, welcome to Dusty Shop. Where bad decisions are rapid and planning is lacking. So, don't do what we do. Well, you can try it. Have fun with it. You know, do the YouTube stuff. Click like and subscribe. Alright, thanks. Alright, so just go. So, uh, today we are working on 198 Chevy pick em up truck, 350. Uh, yeah, got the old spider injection. Love Chevrolets, absolutely hate this system. It is useless. I mean, just terrible. I just don't like it. Can't do a whole lot with it. Um, you know, I get it. I know why, you know, kind of know why they did it, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see what we got here. So this is from uh, the supplier online. So we got, oh, look at that. Man, ain't that pretty. <clears throat> got a new bracket. What do need? Let's see. What else should we get? I think that's it. That's it. Oh, man. So hopefully I uh, have a plenum gasket. If not, we'll be, I'll be running up to this store and get me a plenum gasket so I'm gonna set this back in here because this like I said this is not my truck no one on my flip so we'll go ahead and uh, let's get this thing out right quick there is uh, this thing can go back to the owner and I'm sure he'd be ecstatic because he'll have to pick him up truck back um, <laughs> it's been popped Oh, looky there. There it is. Oh, man. So magnificent. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get some of this stuff off here. Uh, uh, don't need this. It's not overly hard to get to. It's, there's just stuff. There's just some stuff in the way. Yeah. Just stuff in the way. So, let's get the stuff out of the way. I'm not taking the AC system apart. I'm going to get past that main harness. Yep. All right. Let's get after this. Let me throw a mat down. That's there. It's just something I do whenever I'm doing this, uh, doing anything with the old uh, PCM. I try to uh, uh, disconnect stuff. Man, it's been a bad, it's been back in New York, man, since I've done one of these. It's been a while. All right, there's that, there's that. Let me just completely unbolt that. Yeah, I'm kind of going over it again, like I said. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these trucks, so let's just go ahead and start unplugging the easy stuff. So we went, checked it out, I was looking at some things, and um, first thought it was the old uh, fuel pump. Put a fuel pump in it. And no way no. So start this bad boy up on ether. And I'm gonna guess that the little troll unit right there could work in. <laughs> oh man, look at that. I can kinda see. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's see here. So it's no problem. It's not a problem. 
You know, I think before digging into this thing too far, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the air compressor. Let's blow off this engine top a little bit. Blow this engine off a little bit. And like I said, it's better just to kind of keep stuff and get in the engine. Just, just get it off. Just get it off. Now, you know, the odds of that happening again are like slim and numb. It doesn't happen very often. But usually, I'm down there fishing out with a magnet. I'm not complaining. By no means am I not complaining. Okay, so. <clears throat> This one right here, which <sighs> you know, that's always a you know, one of them, uh, oh man, what do you call that? One of them, uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't, because <clears throat> you have to, <sighs> you're supposed to be able to pinch this, you know, slide it down and then this thing comes off and I always struggle with that. Let's try it with this one. Will this one be, will this one be the unicorn? You know, not give me any trouble. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. So. Let's see here. Goes one way or the other and I can't remember. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh. Oh, man, it came off. Now, get it out of the way. Without, that's, usually that breaks. I ain't gonna lie. That thing usually breaks on me. So, and this line is, I don't like it sitting there like that. I kind of like to have it kind of hanging out up here. Because when I'm trying to get this out, i got to be kind of loving, loving with it. Okay, so there's one sign. Wow. There's not one coming out of there. A good seal. That's for sure. Alright. I need those out of the way. Completely out of the way. Alright, so it just goes, so we have to plant them off. Yep, yep. Uh, so it's kind of sticky, so I cleaned it best I could. Um, yeah, it's a little dirty. Better than it was for sure. So, all right. So now we're down to this. So when I'm doing this, I forgot. Yeah, I take the thermostat housing off. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So let's hope. Everything comes off like it's supposed to. Um, so, oh man, look at these things. These are, oh yeah, that's what I was afraid of right there. Oh, good, good to do. I'm completely off, but yeah, I'm gonna throw that over there. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> these things are so brittle. Oh, I'm filling up a cylinder. Some more. Come on. 
Yeah, these things can be, yeah, anybody's ever done this job, you know, you know, the little, little lucky ears. Oh, man, you got to be gentle with them. Because they generally, that's why I'm a shop. People would try to do this, and then they'd break off, you know, break shit off down in there in the intake. And then, of course, then it's coming to me, going to the shop. So you're like, what in the ass? So I think what's wrong with this one is this little, little part in here. Something is not digging. Digging something. These things just not want to play. I'm going to be kind of gentle with it. There it goes. So, that being said, there's the old one. Yeah, it's an AC Delco, so it's probably the original one that came with the truck. Which is, yeah, pretty good. I don't see very many of them much original anymore. And they've been all been replaced with something. Generally, these aftermarket ones. Okay. Now that that's done, kind of cleaned it out some, somewhat. Like I said, not my, not my favorite system. By no means. Let's get that plate off. Come with a new one. We'll install it. Now, if you look in the bottom of these things, they are numbered. Two, four. So that's the cylinder they go to. You just kind of, you know, turn around. So this is the upgraded one, I don't know, because instead of um, this original one, I don't know if anybody knows, but on the original one, the actual injector is in here, and they fire from there, and these the injectors are right there, the little shiny, the little shiny things. So this is just like a metering bowl, so it makes it a little better. I found that these were pretty good. I put a couple, quite a few of these in like this, and I put a couple of the, the original ones back in too. But uh, I had a lot of people really and they need more. So, but you know, when you put these in, you got to remember to keep these flush against the, just like that, flush against the manifold, because if you stick them up the other direction, you ain't getting that top one on. No, you are not. So, let me, oh, they're right here. Mm, they're right there. Get the torque bit out. Let's hit this new one on the welder. I really haven't messed with some of I haven't messed with these things in a while. Unfortunately. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot of that kind of repair. But this thing does fall in that category of now now. I'm 25 years or older. We're all in. And this, she's that old. So we're all in. Like I said, not my most favorite system on the planet. And this, that right there is normal, you know. Make sure OSBs have this system. And this is normal. I have to go get, well no, I'll have to look. I think I have a gasket for this thing. I do believe I have a gasket for this thing. So, mm, 
Um, man, this is about as good as we do it. Oh, there's it. Throw in the builder. So, um, it was in the truck like so. Should be. One, three, five, so it's, all right, I like to stick, I like to put all the injectors in, but you know what, let's clean this, let's blow these out, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting a step, a very important step, where is my little, there it is. There's a little air gun. <coughs> so, <coughs> okay. So we're clean there. We're clean we can get. So we got. Get the old. Let's get the old system down. Kind of halfway. Come in here. So uh, one. <clears throat> okay, one side in. So get this side in. So I'll come back uh, and uh, run down to the rallies and give me a upper plum yes, gasket. All right, circus so goer. So yeah, a little quick trip up to the old uh, yeah the place. Um, being that I pulled out the stock AC Delco spider injection, I'm sure this gasket was installed in in 97 when this truck was probably put together or maybe even sooner older uh so basically it's never been it's probably never been changed i'm gonna look at it, it looks pretty it looks, doesn't look bad it just doesn't look like it's ever been changed so we got the we've got it well i said when i went up and got it i thought i had some of these laying around but i guess i didn't so you know what's gonna hurt to change it out absolutely nothing it's gonna make me feel better because then we don't have to come back in here and jack with this thing. So, we don't need either one of those because I didn't take either one of them off. And then that's that. And then those are there and there. And I didn't, oh, actually there and there. And I didn't take those off either. So, but I will put them on in the seat. So that way if he ever has to do anything with it, he does have the gaskets. Because I really don't need them. I said this gasket doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all, really. It looks pretty good, but you know what? Like I said before, $20. And, uh, 
this one's in better shape, you know, as well as new, Felpro. So, you know, I don't want to, you know, you don't want to take this thing back apart because this is, you know, you got an intake gasket leak. Yes, they're reusable, but not when they've been sitting that long. And like I said, it's just, it's just that easy. It's just that easy. Kinda, 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 yeah. <coughs> just set that there. <coughs> let's, uh, yeah, let's go through this. with this hurts. Ah, absolutely nothing. I'll just make things go back together easy. Easy peasy. That's what we like. No problems. So we want to go back together. We want it to start. Okay, so let's double check our injectors. Make sure we're off. Down below. Number one. Double check one more time before we put this thing on. Make sure we're all down in there. Yep, looks like we're all down in there. So, the next wonderful part of this is this. circuit scars I did it again battery went dead I have no idea where we were uh, it's all put back together uh, these spider injections sometimes when you go to first start them they are a little quirky so you gotta you gotta kind of mess with it a little bit to get it to work right so um, I'm not seeing any leaks so Bacon. I don't like she's supposed to. Uh, just top off the coolant and pull that upper radiator over. They say it's been a little bit since I've done one of these. I ain't gonna lie. No? Uh, usually they're ripping these things off and doing something different. You know? Uh, Today, these things were popular. Uh, the truck is popular. It still is. We're going to be seeing more of these things. So, that's it. That's, uh, that's spider injection. Uh, not overly hard, by no means. Uh, definitely a pain in the butt. Not, uh, not really. Uh, your aftermarket, uh, You remember the one, bit one, the plenum gets the plenum, plenum wall gets a little funny. But, you know, for the most part, that's all right, that's all right. All right, well, with that being said, there we go. Uh, spider injection uh, on a OFB, 90s, late 90 model uh, Chevy truck. Uh, love these trucks, but I absolutely hate that system. Can't do anything with it, so. With that being said, thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.